the brand new for 2019 Callaway ERC Soft Golf Ball. Let's do it! And let's do it now. Now really, there's only one place to start with this golf ball, the name. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. I really hope you enjoy the content that you're finding. And second of all, please take a second to consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. On this channel, I bring you guys daily golf related content that helps you raise your game, lower your handicap, and just really enjoy your golf that little bit more. Today's content is surrounding a brand new ball from Callaway, the Callaway ERC Sock. And as I said just a few moments ago, I'm actually not going to start with the triple track alignment system, but I'm going to start with its name, the ERC Soft. The Eli Reeves Callaway Soft Golf Ball. That's always a nice touch, isn't it? Well, let's not beat around the... every time on this hill. But let's not beat around the bush here. There's one thing and one thing only, or three things, which is why this ball is making all the headlines. These three lines right here. They're supposed to help you with alignment and hit fairways. Whoops. Must have missed that memo. The whole idea behind the triple track alignment system actually comes from the military. It comes from the aircraft carrier boats where the planes come in to land. It's supposed to make it easier. I see that. This technology is supposed to make it easier for us to align puts, align drives, and I guess that's gonna be it because that's the only time you're gonna be able to align your ball, really, so yeah. And I must admit, I'm a huge fan, a big advocate, a massive thumbs up from me when it comes to lining up putts. I think far too many people don't line up putts. I even did a video on it. I will link that below. I just think it makes it way easier to actually confirm where you're really aiming. But when it comes to off the tee, You see, now this is a funny one because I like to see the ball move in the air, I like to play a fade, I like to play a draw. So am I aligning the ball at the start line, at the finish line, at the target? Quite confusing. Gone straight down the middle. So let's see. Oh, I tell you what, it has as well! Ah. But what else does the Callaway ERC soft ball have in store than just three lines? The new ball for 2019 comes with a multi-material hybrid cover which is designed for faster ball speed, so more distance and a much softer feel. Now I would absolutely love to tell you what this hybrid cover is, what the multi-material cover is and what the names of the materials are, but they're really big words and I always seem to get it wrong so I'm just going to go with hybrid cover. I did spend quite a bit of time on the short game area before coming out here with the golf ball and I must say it definitely doesn't feel the softest and I don't mean that by playing shots, I mean by kind of flicking the ball up with the wedge and even the feel of the ball, the texture. I think we need not forget that this isn't a Callaway premium golf ball, it's not a Chrome Soft, it's not a Chrome Soft X, it's a middle range price point ball, if there is such a thing. So back to the real talking point about these golf balls. The lines.
Just three lines make way more of a difference than one. And what about the blue and the red? Visually, a blue and red line is gonna help me hold more putts, hit more fairways than a solid black line that I've done with my Sharpie at home. Now I know that was only a wedge, but there was a nice bit of stop on that ball. It feels pretty good, I must say. And I must say, it definitely makes me more meticulous with my aim with the putter. I'm not too sure my playing partners would be happy with that though. Another bit of feedback it gives you with the putter, which I absolutely love, is the consistency of roll. I've hit a putt there, you can see those three lines going end over end a lot quicker than they are here. I thought I could kind of portray this a lot better than I am doing, but you know what I mean, end over end with the line, that means I've made a pretty good stroke, it means the roll's good, and it's just missed high side, which means I've obviously given it a little bit too much break. While you're here guys, make sure you smash those comments below. Would you consider using this golf ball, the Callaway ERC Soft? Would you line it up off a tee? Would you line it up with the putter? Or is it just a bit of a hassle? And I guess a lot of it depends. What kind of person are you? Do you like to line the ball up? Do you line up putts? Do you line it up off the tee? I've never been a line it up off the tee kind of guy. But I line up every single putt. What about here on a par three? Short par three, 135 yards. I'm gonna hit a wedge and I'm gonna line it up to the flag. I'm gonna try and hit the straightest shot I can possibly hit. So it should go in, shouldn't it? This is surely where your playing partners are gonna think you're taking the Oh, that has gone perfect. Don't go in. Oh, it could. Go in. Oh! <laughs> that, <laughs> nearly went down. <laughs> oh, it nearly went in. So yeah, there we have it. If you don't line up your pitching wedges from 135 yards with a three-track alignment system, you probably should. That is amazing. Okay, so it's not as close as I was jumping around for on the tee, but it's down its throat. I know we're on a big slope here and I probably can't do the slope justice, but the ball's finished here and we've pitched way up there. That is some serious. Can we triple track our way all the way from the tee to the hole? Come on, triple track. Oh, yeah. Boom. Callaway ERC Soft Triple Track Alignment. That's a two. So, guys, as a roundup, what do I think of the Callaway ERC Soft? Personally, personally, I love the idea of it. I really like the inventiveness. I'm just not sure if the novelty eventually would wear off. I can see a lot of people trying this golf ball, but I'm not sure how many would stick with it for a whole season. You're not gonna get me doing this that often. I'm not gonna lie. Does it feel like a Pro V1? Does it feel like a TP5? Does it even feel like a Chrome Soft? No, but it performs pretty good. I've got some good spin out there with the wedges. I've got some good spin out there with the approach shot to the par three. And to be fair, I smashed one up the second hole into the wind and it performed pretty well. That's another absolute monster as well to finish on. I think it's mega important that we take this golf ball for what it is. It's not proclaiming to be the next Pro V1. It's not trying to knock the TP5 out of the limelight. It just is what it is. The alignment system's great and I like it. I like the idea of it. I do wish more people would line up putts. I think you would definitely hold more putts and just generally put better. But then you can buy those clasps that go on the balls anyway, can't you? So surely it's only a matter of time before someone releases one of them with your three lines on instead of one. And then you just buy a blue pen and a red pen. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and you're there. Turns out the alignment 
thing isn't bulletproof either. See, this is one thing that really, really, really annoys me a little bit. So I've got to the ball, obviously I can't move it, I can't align it because I'm in the rough. Well, I'm just not on the tee or on the green. I'm gonna show you my phone because the camera's fixed. So we've got the ball here, the hole here, the club's gonna be sat there. Now that's just annoying. Isn't this weird, me looking at you, looking at me, looking at you? Well, that's definitely something which I personally find a tiny bit offsetting. Guys, I've been James Robinson. I'm here at Huddersfield Golf Club. I do hope you've enjoyed that. If you've tried the Callaway ERC Soft Golf Ball, hit those comments below and let me know what did you think. If you haven't tried it yet, do you plan trying it? Do you align your ball? In fact, what are you having for tea? Smash those comments below. I just like to read them. I just like to talk to people. And apart from that, guys, if you haven't hit the subscribe button already, you know the drill, or you don't know the drill because you've not done it yet. I'll see you tomorrow.